States uh, are able to make decisions with regards to domestic partnership benefits, uh, such as uh, hospital visitation rights, uh, benefits and so forth of various kinds could be determined state by state. But my view is that marriage itself is a relationship between a man and a woman, and, uh, and that's, uh, that's my own preference. I know other people have differing views. This is a very uh, tender and sensitive topic, as are many social issues. Uh, but I, uh, I have the same view that I've had uh, since, uh, well, th since running for office. That the reaction from Mitt Romney after the president's announcement today and expect to see a lot more attention focused Romney's way in the coming days, asking him to clarify his positions and what exactly he would support and what he would oppose. Uh, not just reaction uh, from Mitt Romney today, but we're also starting to see what uh, other uh, uh, sources are going to say, including uh, the Fox world, and, and this is from a, a tweet from Media Matters, but they lifted the headline from Fox Nation, uh, which read, Obama flip-flops declares war on marriage. So uh, move over Christmas. Apparently there's a new war that uh, Obama is uh, started uh, that is uh, antithetical to what Fox is standing for. We're also going to, uh, as we go to the phones now, uh, want to flash some other reactions to you that we've gotten online from Twitter from people like Nancy Pelosi. And we'll give you a chance to read these as we go to the phones. And uh, Maria is calling us from Brooklyn. Maria, what's your take on same-sex marriage and what you heard from the president today? Okay, my name is Marina with the N. Oh, I'm sorry, Marina. Go ahead. Okay, um, I have a better question. Why shouldn't it be legal? Why shouldn't these people have the right to be married? They're still in love the way me and a man would be or you and a woman would be, so why shouldn't they be married? That's uh, not the only uh, time we're going to hear that question being asked today. Why? Uh, a lot of people are going to ask that uh, as well, and, and whether there's, uh, that should enter into the political realm as well. These are all interesting decisions when you get the, the personal morality of people and then what the public policy is going to be. Uh, any, any, Rand? Well, clearly a majority of Americans agree with her position, if I heard her correctly, in terms of a majority of Americans is no longer evolving an issue, a majority of Americans, and this is a generational issue, but believe that they should have the right, you know, same-sex couples to be married, bottom line. Uh, Mayor Bloomberg tweeted out, uh, and there you go, Mayor Bloomberg, this is a major turning point in the history of American civil rights. Bloomberg has long been a supporter of uh, same-sex marriage and same-sex marriage rights. Uh, that is not a position that I believe our next caller, Leon, is going to take. Uh, Leon is joining us from Brooklyn as well. Leon, what was your reaction to the, the president's announcement and to the policy itself? My reaction is no. America is going to the dogs. And m what my question is, can a man and a man make a baby. Can a woman and a woman make a baby? No, but there are plenty of man-woman couples that don't have kids. Are you saying that's the only reason for having a man-woman marriage, Leon? A man and a woman marriage is not directly because of, of, of a baby, but because God ordained it like that. He make a man and a woman. I, I, under, I understand the point that you're making, Leon, and it's the, it's the biological argument, as it were. We, we've heard the religious argument, the moral argument, the state's right argu well, it's, argument. Well, it's not even biology. It's a man, matter of family structure. And the gay rights advocates can march out as many adopted couples, gay couples, as they want to, but statistically, they're still in the small minority. Most gay couples are bonded together because of the, the feelings they have for each other, which do not necessarily then go to creating a family, whereas most heterosexual couples still have that desire. But just to, just to clarify for anybody who's, you're not questioning the ability of a, of a same-sex couple to raise kids. No, it's, it's clear that most states, even those that may have uh, gay marriage prohibitions in their constitution, still allow gay adoptions. Dominic, how much, uh, how much do you think the, the movement in New York last year played a role in all this? The, the speed with which it was signed into law in New York, the reaction to it, and as, uh, as the man who normally stands here likes to say, it's not like New York has fallen off into the ocean since same-sex marriage became law. I think it plays a major role. Uh, the historic nature of what occurred in New York State in terms of Governor Cuomo somehow, some way, doing what no other governor 
uh, prior to him was able to do, uh, persuade Republicans in the state Senate and Democrats in the Assembly to go along with, with this issue. I think it set the stage. Everything is a, a, a building block. And I think that that's why we're seeing more and more Americans that are supportive of the idea. I understand the conservatives may not support okay, but this. But Donna, can I, can I quickly say just for the record, each of the Republican state senators that broke their word to us and voted for gay marriage will not be running with the conservative party line this November. All of them. Is that... It? Why, why is I mean, I know it's against the, the party. The party is against well, same-sex marriage. Forget, but Forget about but their should, position. But they lied to us. Every one of them came before a conservative party local county committee, and, and Republican was in addition, which is why many of these Republican committees have also denied them their nomination let me, let me, and lied to us. Let me give you one specific example. Nan Hayworth, Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. She has a gay son uh, and has gotten some attention for it in the past. She is a member of the LGBT caucus uh, in, in Congress. Uh, I don't recall whether she had the conservative party's backing uh, when she was first elected in 2010. Why shouldn't a Nan Hayworth be able to vary from the party orthodoxy on one issue like this? Well, I, I, I think it's easy to say. We knew that gay marriage would be coming up in the state senate. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the body that they're in which is the focus of the, and every one of these Republican state senators was asked before they last had an opportunity to be endorsed by the conservative party, what will you do? And due to the uh, seductive powers of uh, Governor Cuomo, uh, they somehow changed their mind. Okay, all right, there we go.